Hello and welcome to my talk Gatsby Theme 18 and my name is Leonard and I'm a senior software engineer at Gatsby. A quote I pulled from GitHub was an official and stable solution for internationalization. That's the main reason that prevents me from using Gatsby on many projects. I18N is a hard problem to solve and it's time consuming, often cumbersome and requires knowledge. This is also currently the case for Gatsby. A lot of manual work needs to be done. You have to use the right plugins. You have to work with low level APIs. You have to dig into the, all these different topics yourself. And we want to provide the right abstraction for it. Hence, we are working on Gatsby theme IT n The alpha version will for it will support MDX and local pages. It will ship with React components like an SEO component, helper functions, context providers and so on. It will be agnostic to any IT&N library and we will build child themes for it. You will be able to create your own child themes afterwards. And this is only the beginning because we have so many ideas. Any given data source, support for platforms like crowd in, comfort functions, different build setups, theme UI integration, and obviously anything you will contribute. Because we want to build this theme together with the community. We want to get your feedback early, iterate often, and see how a first class integration could look like. Together we will learn things that will benefit the whole Gatsby ecosystem because not everything will be solvable in the theme. We will need to dig into Gatsby core, change things we do in our build setup, we do on other parts of the Gatsby ecosystem. So how could it look like? The current version looks like this. We have an example project that is powered by MDX. In this case, blog posts in the blog directory and you get this output by default. You add the theme as usual via the Gatsby config file and additionally you create a config file. It will hold all the necessary information for building out the sites and later localizing your page. In this case, the code key is important. It will uh, be important for the slug because the theme will take the pages you create and create additional pages via the config file. As you can see, the MDX files that, that have a postfix of .de will get .de as a slug prefix. The same with the pages. As mentioned, it will also ship with React components. This component you see here showcases two components. Firstly, MDX link, so that you can replace the normal uh, HA uh, tag on your pages with MDX link. It will function the same as localized link. Both components take the local from the global React context we provide and edits the links internally. So you don't have to add any prefixes yourself, it will be taken care of. And that's how you can think of different React components we want to provide. They will be helper functions really. So where can you try it and how can you help? The alpha will be released soon because we want to ship early and often. And for future discussions and if you already want to help, you can join our Discord server. I will keep you updated there and uh, would be happy to collaborate with you on this. And that's really all folks. Um, happy to see the community participate in this and uh, let's build a first class integration. Yeah.